Hey, what's up guys? This is Geo with Random Tech and I'm going to show you how to root your Galaxy Nexus. I actually just moved from the Thunderbolt and this is the first time I'm rooting it. So you're going to want to go to randomtech.com, T-E-K, and uh, all the uh, downloads and the instructions will be there. Uh, you can find a link in the description of the YouTube channel. But uh, I'm actually going to use the GNX Toolkit from XDA. So first, you're going to want to download the software. So click here to download. I've already done that. So the next thing you want to do is install the Fastboot drivers. So you can do that from within the program. I didn't use the drivers in the Toolkit. I used PDANet 32-bit. Make sure you download that and uh, you can use those uh, drivers to install. Uh, you may have to restart your computer first. Uh, make sure your phone's unplugged. If it asks you to install anything like unsigned drivers, just click yes. Uh, then it'll ask you to plug in your phone. Just go through all the prompts and make sure PDA uh, Net installs successfully. Once you do that, you can unplug your phone shut down your phone and then put it into fast boot mode which is volume up volume down and the power key at the same time should get a screen like that you can go to your device manager by hitting start and typing device manager And once you're in here, you want to see if the fast boot driver is installed. So you want to connect your USB cable while you're in this mode here. You then get a prompt to install Android 1.0, which I do also over here alright ready to use that's good to go should not see any yellow triangles in your device manager now if you still do you haven't installed your drivers correctly you want to go back and do that again Next, you want to go into the toolkit. Should be on your C drive, Galaxy Nexus toolkit. Open up the toolkit. It asks you what version of a phone do you have. I'm on LTE, it's Verizon, Android 4.0.2. So I'm selecting number six. It found my device. I'm still in fast boot mode here, connected USB. Uh, it found my device in fast boot mode. Next, I'm going to actually choose the one click for all, so I don't have to do it step by step, which will unlock, root, rename my restore files and flash clockwork recovery mod. So I'm going to choose number seven. Please do not do anything else until the P. Uh, on the PC during this process when prompted press the volume up button to highlight yes on the screen and press the power button to select it and unlock the bootloader this will result in all data being erased including internal storage you want to make sure you delete I'm sorry you back up all your hard drive your music your apps anything like that because it will erase your hard drive you do not have a storage card on here so are you uh, do you want to continue type yes or no yes hit enter now unlocking this appears on your phone do you want to unlock the bootloader yes so volume up to yes and then power said it may uh, take a delay so just let's wait and see what happens alright the screen here it says okay finished continue to rooting process as you can see now 
the Google phone with the lock. It's going to reboot and I'm going to have to go back into USB debugging. So when that happens, I'll be back. All right, so we're back up. The phone rebooted like two times. Um, now it's waiting for us to go and put it into USB debugging. So you actually have to go through this whole setup here uh, to get to USB debugging. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the whole process, you know, activate it, uh, just log in uh, just so I get past this. And once I get to USB debugging, I will uh, start recording again. Okay, we're back in on the phone. I want to enable USB debugging. Go into settings, down at the bottom, developer options, and make sure the first one is clicked. Allow USB debugging. Okay. Now that it's enabled, the program, there's nothing you have to do on your PC. It'll automatically start going again. Uh, it waited, you know, till you had USB debugging enabled, which it does. Uh, it says here it will continue into Fastboot, which we are now in Fastboot. It says now booting into Android using the insecure boot image. It's downloading the boot image. As you can see, the Google icon now is out of focus, but it is unlocked there at the bottom loading back up let's wait for that and I'll come back alright we're back up and it waited to the phone was back up setting up root on the phone ADB is already running root procedure completed I'm back in fastboot it's restoring uh, the recovery file now it's flashing clockwork mod Congratulations, you hacked it. Returning to the main menu in 10 seconds. So the one click pretty much does everything for you. Um, I guess I am unlocked and rooted. Let's start the phone up. Okay, the phone's back up. Let's check, uh, make sure we have super user, unlock it. Let's go to the app drawer, and there it is. So we are rooted, unlocked, and super user's on. So that's how to root your Galaxy Nexus uh, on Verizon LTE. My name is Gio with RandomTech.com, T-E-K, signing off. See you guys soon. Thanks.